So if you're gonna to use toothpaste to uh, clean your teeth, you wanna get the most out of your toothpaste, everybody knows that you usually just roll the, the edge up to make it last longer. But there's a better way. And instead of doing that, just cut the end off. Cut the end off and then stick your toothpaste in there. And then you can use all of it. All right, so we're uh, looking at some of the dangers of fluoride in the toothpaste. Because it's not just in your toothpaste. Look, It says there every year they have lots of cause of um, fluoride excessive consumption. Because it's also in a lot of other products. So if you're drinking your teas and you're uh, drinking your waters and your, your juice drinks from the shops and that, they use fluorinated fluorinated water. Is that the right way to pronounce that? Well, fluoride in the water, right? So you're getting a lot of it. So you can OD, OD on fluoride. And if you look at the packet as well, that's why they'd say there's like only like a pea-sized amount you're meant to use, and especially for children. So anything that says it's a danger. And look, you see there in a... A lot of European countries, it's banned. Um, there's a there's a thing where they say that Hitler added it to the water to uh, before he invaded Poland, and to uh, he gave it to the prisoners and that to keep them docile. So there is a bit of a conspiracy theory on that that are the governments putting it into the water supply to dumb everybody down and keep them controlled. Well, I don't know. People can be assholes. So if, if they're assholes now on fluoride, I'd hate to think what they'd be like on non-fluorinated water and stuff.